Hey guys, before we get to unpacking the cards, I just want to quickly give a shout out to my friend Link641. I actually promised him a shout out so long ago that I forgot to give him the shout out. It's been that long, so I'm really sorry this has taken so long. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're behaving through lockdown too. <laughs> uh, let's play some Among Us sometime. And without further ado, let's get to unpacking those cards. Thanks guys. Hey guys, it's Oshi here. We are back for another video. Uh, as you can see, the setup has completely changed. The UK has gone back into lockdown again for the third time, which means it's just me. This video, Morgana, is sadly nowhere to be seen, but she is with us in spirit because she did buy me some booster packs to open. We'll go through those in a second. Before I get into that, I have a question for the audience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Do you guys like Fortnite? I'm hearing a lot of yeses and a lot of noes. The resounding maybe. The reason I ask is because Today we open V-Box because it's a, it's a box with a... Anyway, um, so this is another one of those like named Pokemon V-Boxes, similar to the Toxtricity we did last time, right down to the, uh, the lack of watermarks on the back because <laughs> I accidentally dipped mine in condensation water. Uh, comes with four packs inside and another <clears throat> poster, you know, one of those cool posters. So basically in today's video, we are going to be unboxing the Poltegeist V, oh, almost fell, and also we've got six booster packs, five of Vivid Voltage, so we've got these five, plus one Sword and Shield. I'm pretty sure three of these were bought by Morgana, these three I think, am I wrong on that? And then three were bought myself, so I'm going to open them separately and we're going to see who got the best cards. I think I'm going to have to apologise for the amount of jump cuts in this video. I'm not sure exactly what's gotten into me, but I keep having my breath catch. So have you guys noticed the abundance of cuts? It's because I keep having my breath catch in my throat. I think it's, uh, I think I'm starting to get the leggy from being inside too long and away from people too much. It's, I'm going to be crazy. Okay, so first things first, we are going to have to open Poltygeist. So I'm going to quickly time lapse. We'll get this all open. I'll show you guys what's inside and then we'll start opening the packs. I'm really excited for this. Let's go! So again, it's exactly the same on the inside as the Toxtricity, except obviously the Pokemon on the front has changed. So we've got the Poltygeist there, the massive Poltygeist. Four booster packs and a download code, which of course I'm going to give to you guys, because I always do. <laughs> I've actually... It's something I didn't expect to happen is... While I've been sharing my videos out across uh, random, you know, random social media websites, <laughs> which is a whole whole other story, but we'll go through that another time. That's like a rant video. But um, I've started having people message me like, sorry, um, <clears throat> look, I know you're busy, but could I please have some of your codes? It's like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, dude, they're in the video, <laughs> good luck. So there's the Poltygeist, actually kind of cool looking. Like, I don't usually like the V cards because of the amount of black on them, but because his design is so big and wide, it kind of takes up the, like almost the entire card. Kind of dig it. And then obviously you get the little baby version too. So we'll lie those there for good luck, in fact, I brought something for just such an occasion. Another jump cut there. I'm not sure exactly what's wrong with me. It's, I don't think I'm sick, but I, I keep having these moments where my breath catches in my throat and then like I have to yawn really bad. So I, again, I'm really sorry. I don't mean to, to do this. Here you go, there's your code. Let's get all this off the table and I'll show you what booster packs are inside. I'm gonna try and get this video out fast. I've noticed the amount of talking we do between um, between card, like the packs are being opened, actually takes up mo the majority of the video. So we'll try and speed up through that. I might even edit them out so you just see the cards. I haven't decided yet, but we got two Rebel Clash in this. They are definitely being opened first. Morgana's excited to see Steam Siege because she wants to get a Luxray Break. Sword and Shield typically has pretty good cards in. So we are going to start with Rebel Clash. We're going to do it. Okay, here we go. So inside this pack, hold on. Here's the code. Are you? I'm gonna have to work out some kind of solution with this light. It's casting shadows across everything. One, two, three, four to the front, and we get fighting energy, Pelipper. Yeah, this is gonna have to move. Um, Bronzong, Metapod, Meditite, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingle, Natu, Charger Bug. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? Hold on. Did I just get? Hold on. So I just got a v <laughs> first pack. Rebel Clash, by the way, and it's in the pack with his face on. I am the spy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. We got an Intellion V Max that can sit right there. Next pack's another Rebel Clash. I can't believe we got a V Max first pack. That's insane. One, two, three, four to the front. 
Water energy. Heat more. More Peko. Scoop up net. <laughs> Roly Coley. Meditate. Grubbin. Electabuzz. Natu. Another more Peko. And a Hollow Chandelure. They're not bad. In fact, I actually really like those two Pokemon, so that's fine by me. Especially more Peko. I like it so much, in fact. Wait. Oh, I got so distracted by the VMAX, I just dropped this Charger Bug too. Nice. But yeah, I like more Peko so much, they gave me two. Okay, so the next pack is Steam Siege. I know these have some cool cards, and especially like the, the Super Rares and stuff like that. They can be really, really cool. Lots of really popular Pokemon with lots of really cool like holographic designs on the gold. Break cards are sick. Okay, let's pull this out on camera so you know I'm not being dodgy. You know, slipping cards in for... Well, I just accidentally spoiled it. <laughs> There's that. One, two, three, four. I'm like slipping in VMAXs and ooh, dual types. I really like Galavantula. These are dual type cards are really cool, by the way. Like they stuff like that doesn't get enough attention and like doesn't get enough attention from the community, I don't think, because it's really creative and, and it I don't know. I don't know how it Okay, so Galav <laughs> <laughs> This video is a, it's a disaster. I've like the lights are falling over. The fuck <laughs> dude, lockdown. Lockdown causes this. Okay, so what happened there is I opened this pack, Galavantula was the rare, but for some reason it was at the back, I, I think maybe they changed the order, but the, as I was saying, these dual type cards are really cool, I don't actually know how they play, but stuff like this I find really interesting, and, and it's fun, you know, like it changes the way the game, you know, the way you approach the game, when a card's got two types, what do you do? It's cool. Alright, next, Sword and Shield, one, two, three, four. So how was everyone's Christmas and New Year? I mean, outside of the, uh, you know, all the terrible things that seem to be happening lately, I hope everyone's got something good going for them because, uh, you know, the world needs more of that right now, I think. Just people enjoying good things. Okay, Mud Ray and Mudsdale together. People enjoying things they enjoy, you know, and being harmless and fun like we're doing right now because the world seems to have gone a little bit insane. So I really do hope... Oh, the next pack, by the way, is Sword and Shield again. I really hope everyone is staying safe because... With the way the world is, it's just, you know, it's scary. It's really scary. I will have to apologize for, uh, if I, if I seem a bit scatterbrained in this video, I, uh, I'm not really used to recording in my own place. It's, it's a bit, it's a strange experience. I only usually record, uh, like, post-filming at my place. I don't usually record from, uh, well, I don't usually record things live, so I'm not exactly used to it. These packs are kind of doo-doo, bro. Okay, so that's all the packs, genuinely, that weren't Vivid Voltage, so we've got these five left. I really hope we get Pikachu. Pikachu is the one I'm I'm kind of hoping for, just because it, you know it's it's the name. I don't want to say the namesake, but it's the uh, figurehead of this booster pack. It, you got Charizard in Champion's Path. You have got Pikachu in this one. You know, just they're cool. Okay, so there's your code. One, two, three, four. You got Leaf Energy, Cramorant, Nessa, Nuzleaf, Joltik, Sandile, C Dot. Picky Peck, Mudbray, another Yanma, and another Hollow Snorlax. I already have both of those, but not unhappy. A Hollow is better than no Hollow, is the way I look at it. Okay, on to the next pack. So, ooh, uh, put that over there. Get your code at the back right here. I do have some stuff I do want to talk about, actually, in regards to the channel. Uh, let's get these in here. One, two, three, four. Uh, I do have some ideas for... Uh, for some new series I want to tr I want to try. I've got one where I want to discuss like weak and strong Pokemon designs, their history and my opinions of them, things that I would improve on, like things they do really well, etc. I would really like to uh, to do something like that. So I might start working on on that soon actually. Would you what, what, like what, that's the reason I ask is cuz I want to know what you guys think about it. We got Duart and Clefable. Uh, so in the comments just let me know if you'd like to see someone like that and if you would like to see it. Give me some Pokemon ideas cuz I've got a few in mind that I want to talk about, but obviously other people have their favorites and that's fine. <laughs> but my favorites are better, that's all I'm saying. You guys don't like Lombre, that's fine. I don't like Inteleon, that's fine. It happens, four to the front. Okay, Lightning Energy, Seb Striker, Excadrill, Nuzleaf, C Dot, Electric, Clefairy, Vampy, another Yanma. Dude, these cards, these cards. Cramorant and Jolteon. Dude, Vivid Voltage is not treating me so good. Who would have thought Rebel Clash would give us the best card out of the set of all the uh, the ones we've opened? I say the best. It does feel kind of like a slap in the face because I do hate that Pokemon. <laughs> okay, next pack. Here's your code. It says Gary on it, look. Nice. Orgaza. 
One, two, three, four. A little bit of Gary Oak in this pack. Come on, give me some good luck, Gary. Leaf Energy, Nessa. Imagine I got a Gary card in it, that'd be cool. Wash Energy, Riolu, Eevee, Seedark, another Electric, another Clefairy, a Nuzleaf, and Alcremie. Oh, come on, dude. And <laughs> the last packet of Vivid Voltage. I don't know whose this is. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Morgana bought some and I bought some, but I don't know who's and who's. So we're going to say, Morgana, that this is the one you bought me. Really hope it's good. <laughs> I really, really hope this is good. Let's find out. Let's, let's go together. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Please be good. Please be Pikachu. Okay. Fist Energy. Giraffe Rig. Uh, Alistair. Cramorant. Skiddo. Eevee. Trubbish. Shoppet. Tootle. Please be good. Oh, a Samurott. So that's cool. We haven't seen that yet. This red on the text is barely legible because it's against blue. Don't like that. And the last card may as well not have existed as far as I'm concerned. In fact, I wish it didn't. <laughs> Galarian Berserker Steely Claws. Yay, my favorite. That's all of them. That went really fast. To be fair, it was only 10 booster packs, I suppose. But the best card we actually ended up pulling was... Inteleon VMAX with his Max Bullet and his Hydro Snipe. Okay, cool. I am the spy. So th literally all I can see when I look at him is the blue spy from Team Fortress 2. I know this video was a little cobbled together. Uh, obviously this is a new setup and a new situation that I found myself in. The only way to really test all this was to just go at it and see how it goes. I don't think it went super well. This isn't in terms of pulls, just in terms of recording quality. <laughs> But next time it should be a little better, it should feel a bit more natural. Obviously with me being here on my own, that's not something I'm used to yet either. But we got it done. Cards are not terrible. You know, we got a couple of things. We got a Samurai, we got a Duart. I wish we'd got an Oshawa. That would have like, like made it. Would have sealed the deal. Oshi all by himself pulls the entire Oshawa line. That'd be sick. So hopefully in the next video, all of this will have been ironed out a little and things will be a little bit more natural and a little bit less, you know, hard cutty. So if you guys enjoyed the video, just head down into the comments section below and let me know. Uh, leave a like if you want, you know, leave a comment, whichever you're more comfortable with, because both help me out, whichever you prefer. The reason I say this is because I've had people message me privately, really sweet messages. I'll give you, um, you know what, the guy's name was Andro. Uh, he messaged me privately, or she, you know, we don't, we don't assume here, but they messaged me privately and were just saying basically that they really enjoyed the content, they're really happy I make it, you know, and stuff like that went, especially during times like this when things are so uncertain and the world is so insane. Uh, it's really, really grounding and really humbling, so I really appreciate hearing words like that. In other words, thank you for uh, for sending me that message. It was very sweet. Um, so if you guys want to leave any kind words in the, in the comments, a little bit of positivity, I will reply to everyone. I always do. But for now, guys, I'm going to leave you all my links in the description to all my social medias in case you ever want to message me or reach me in any way. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Oshi. Drink plenty of water, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time.